Thank you all very much for being here tonight. It is really, truly a pleasure to have so much lively conversation and about the US and Chinese film, and there's so much more to talk about these days. Some people like some films, others like others. You know, where is it all going? But I would say one of the things that we can all agree on probably is that we really, really love, have always loved the Oscars. Would you say that's the case? I mean, who doesn't love the Oscars? So I am here today because I, it gives me really incredible pleasure to introduce to you someone who is the CEO of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, uh, Don Hudson. Um, my relationship with the Academy dates back to 2002. I was uh, inducted then. And for most of my time there, I would say I uh, was just really happy to get free DVDs and go to screenings and be able to vote. And that made me very, very happy. But something changed this year. And it started out as something a little bit unpleasant and kind of, you know, uh, if, if you all saw the Oscars this year, we were, there was a lot of anticipation about it because there was a lot of talk of racial sensitivity. So we, as uh, anyone of color, felt, oh, this is a year where we're going to feel really good about it. And then there were a couple of unfortunate jokes during the Oscars. So I was sitting there at home watching, feeling kind of yucky. And then I talked to a couple of friends, they were feeling kind of yucky, and several of us feeling yucky people got together, and we decided to meet the leadership of the academy to talk about this. Why did this happen? And you know, how do we prevent this from happening in the future? And we were met with such warmth and grace and such generosity and open-heartedness, particularly from Don, who's here tonight, and also from the president, Cheryl Boone Isaacs, and thus began a series of conversations that have caused me to feel so much more engaged and optimistic about what is possible with the Academy, and also the possibility of reaching out to filmmakers all around the world, including, of course, China. What we learned in this period of time, after we started reaching out to friends and you know, we signed this letter, is that there were actually already about 250 members, Asian and Asian American members in the Academy. I didn't even know who, you know, that there were that many, a small percentage in the overall numbers. Um, shortly after we had started having our meetings and we tried to express how we wanted to be a little bit more respected and were met again with, with genuine, genuine uh, empathy. You know, we learned that suddenly there were 80 new Asian and Asian American members invited into the Academy just this year. That's a huge number. That's like, it was a, th a one third increase. You know, in, in the past we've had uh, obviously Ang Lee, we've had Zhang Ziyi and Chung Kai Ge and Tan Duen, those are some former members this year. Um, Raman Huey was accepted, as well as Jia Zhang Ke from China. And suddenly, the worlds of Hollywood and China seem to be much closer together. And I give a lot of credit to the president of the Academy because I've known her in her previous iteration when she was running Film Independent. I know she is the most fierce advocate for filmmakers around the world for all kinds of films. And so it really is an uh, pleasure and an honor to introduce you to her, uh, to introduce her to you, and vice versa. Tonight, Ms. Dawn Hudson. I, I was standing outside when you began, but did you also explain we've known each other for? about 25 years. <laughs> so the, the uh, rapprochement, the conversations that came after our uh, unfortunate um, Academy Awards, uh, whatever, uh, and, and <laughs> that it was. And, but Janet and I and, and, a, and a lot of our friends, and we go way back, and so that made the conversation, I think, a lot easier to have and made it the urgency very clear to us. So Janet is the one who says, as an Academy member working from inside the Academy, making a lot of changes and helping all of the Academy realize our dreams, 
which is, you know, the way we see ourselves at the Academy is that we are an international organization representing the entire world of filmmakers and connecting everyone. And that was, an, I think, sometimes in our heads more than it was in reality. And so what Janet is doing, and a lot of people are doing inside the Academy now, is making that a reality. So I'm really pleased to be here with you tonight. I really appreciate your support of artists um, around the world, and uh, in China and around the world. So thank you, Janet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.